Hello, I'm Canon with MakeUseOf.com. Today we're talking about the Onyx Books Tab Ultra C. The C stands for colors. It's a unique large format 10.3 inch e-reader that combines color, stylus input, uh, and with the optional keyboard folio, a laptop into a single device. It's priced at 600, it, and it's a Kimura-like mashup of tech, but it has the potential to replace laptops for students and professionals alike. But it's important to note, it may not be for everyone, as there are some concerns about its lack of regular security updates and its high cost compared to competitors like the Remarkable 2 or Kindle Scribe. So in a nutshell, the Tab Ultra C makes uh, two key value propositions. First, its backlight-free e-ink color panel makes long reading, writing, and note-taking sessions eye-strain free. Second, it's potentially a laptop replacement because of its large 10.3-inch screen, handwriting input, long battery, custom software, and optional keyboard. And that's probably what Onyx is going for, an e-reader that can also function as an iPad. However, I don't think you can compare the Tab Ultra C primarily to tablets because of the limitations of an e-ink panel. First and foremost, e-ink panels have very slow refresh speeds and image retention or ghosting when not periodically refreshed to remove image artifacts. Second, the display is limited to 4,096 colors, which is a tiny fraction of the color gamut available in iPads or other tablets. And on top of that, the colors have the vibrancy of jet puffed fruity marshmallows. As such, the Tab Ultra C is closer to an e-reader than it is a tablet. But as far as e-readers go, the Tab Ultra C surpasses all other similar devices on the market in all but a few categories. Its closest competitor is the Big Me Ink Note Color Plus, which costs 700, although uh, it includes an active stylus and provisioning for a SIM card. But in most ways, it's practically identical to the Tab Ultra C. More or less, the uh, Tab Ultra C is elegantly designed with an aluminum unibody, and it's extremely lightweight at 480 grams. The Tab C looks uh, and feels just as premium as any iPad or Samsung tag tablet. But again, it's not quite a tablet. You have to think of it more of a, of a wellness product, which re reduces the health consequences of endlessly staring into a glowing display. In fact, a 2023 study out of Harvard found that e-ink panels reduced the damage to the eye by three times compared to LCD panels. The study also found that children were particularly susceptible to the light emitted by LCDs. The elimination of glowing light from e-ink panels could be a game changer, especially for students or those concerned about macular degeneration. Speaking of its display, the Tab Ultra C boasts a 10.3 inch Kaleido three color e-ink display. The e-ink has specifically been designed to reduce blue light emissions, which uh, they claim reduces the amount of damage caused when the front light is engaged. And in fact, when compared alongside an older color e-reader like the Nova C, the front light does appear to be significantly warmer in color. But overall, compared to the older technology, you'll notice an improvement in the vividness of colors, both outdoors and indoors. In particular, the horizontal lines in the older uh, Kaleido Plus panels is now gone and blacks are less dominant. The genius behind this bistable prismatic screen is that it's essentially two technologies in one. First, it's a black and white Carta panel with a resolution of 2480 by 1860 pixels or 300 PPI. And second, on top of the Carta panel is a thin single layer RGB polymer layer with a resolution of 1240 by 930 or 150 PPI. What that means is that while the black and white images look clear and crisp, color will look grainy and low resolution due to the inherent design issue with reflective display technologies. A quick summary is that the more layers in a display, the more diminished its colors and contrast ratio. Uh, Kaleido 3's approach is just one among mis uh, several options out there, but as of 2023, it provides the best colors and contrast ratio without emitting light. Moving on to performance, the Tab Ultra C powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 um, from 2021 provides adequate performance for productivity tasks, although it lags behind both the state of the art for both mid-range and high-end tablets. Uh, moreover, the four gigabyte RAM module uh, that's in there could cause some sluggishness while transitioning between apps. I suspect they went with an older chip because the 665 officially supports e-ink technology, 
But on the bright side, there's room for optimism. E-Ink recently announced a partnership with MediaTek to produce processors designed for E-Ink devices. So this may lead to faster and cheaper processors down the line. Now, when it comes to battery life, the Tab Ultra C is, is very, very impressive. It's a 6300 mAh battery delivers roughly a week of uptime when, compared to, uh, when connected to the internet. And uh, if you set it to never power down, when Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are, are disabled, the uptime can extend over a month or even two months if you set the Tab Ultra C to power down between uses. In terms of storage and wireless connectivity, the Tab Ultra C does not disappoint. It offers a generous 128 gigabyte storage module with a expandable micro SD card slot supporting up to one terabyte. It's Bluetooth uh, 5.0 and Wi-Fi 5 connectivity. Well, not the latest. These are more than sufficient for productivity. And I, and I hope anyone who buys this is not streaming media or playing games uh, because the uh, Wi-Fi card is not at all suitable for that task. Some additional features worth mentioning include the Tab Ultra C's variable color temperature front light, which can tr transition between amber and white light. Well, amber light, it washes out the color la layer and it looks practically monochrome. The gravity sensor is uh, another highly useful feature if you're trying to full size a double wide PDF page. Uh, on smaller e-readers, even in landscape mode, uh, a double panel manga or comic book is practically unreadable. Whereas on the Tab Ultra C, it's pretty comfortable to read, uh, particularly if you have the auto crop feature turned on. Uh, it also has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera for document scanning and digitization, although its performance in low light conditions could be improved. In most cases, you're better off shooting images on a smartphone, particularly if it has image stabilization uh, on your smartphone camera. But once you've put an image onto the Tab C, you've got access to Onyx's outstanding optical character recognition software, which lets you digitize any text with just the click of a button, or in this case, the touch of the touchscreen. And then there's the optional keyboard folio. Um, it attaches through pogo pins and magnets and control the screen by opening and closing it. Uh, furthermore, the keyboard case only costs $65 extra over the base model, which compares uh, extremely favorably with the absurd $300 pricing of the iPad folio case. There's a lot to like about the keyboard folio. It makes for a, a decent typing experience with scissors switches and ABS keycaps. Well, it lacks backlighting, um, which you definitely wouldn't want that on an e-reader anyway. Um, it comes with a handy little clasp to keep the, the stylus attached uh, when you are in transit. Overall, I highly recommend getting the case. Let's talk about note taking with the stylus. The Tab Ultra C's Wacom touch layer works with a stylus for handwriting input. Uh, and then there's Onyx's custom software for, for transcri transcribing the handwritten text to digital text, text. This makes for a fantastic tool for handwriting notes, especially with the option to integrate these notes with other Android apps. For example, you can handwrite a shopping list and then export it to a task management application like Microsoft To Do. However, uh, you may encounter some lag when using third-party apps. Finally, we can't overlook the software. Honest's software is ahead of the pack in every way, even beating Amazon's Kindle Scribe series. It comes with unique features like translation and optical text reflow, providing an excellent tool for reading and annotating a scanned PDF or EPUB, or pretty much any electronic document format you can imagine. For example, you can even import a calendar, an image of a calendar, and then pencil in your daily to-dos by physically writing on the document with a stylus. Overall, the Onyx Books Tab Ultra C is the king of all 10.3 inch color e-readers on today's market, and the optional keyboard makes it a potential replacement for iPads, uh, that is, if you are concerned about macular degeneration or suffer from eye strain. And that's it for this review. For a full-length review, including links to some of the scientific studies that I've mentioned, please visit the link in the description uh, of the video below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.